Guys, doing a quick review here on the Sig Sauer P365XL. Uh, in fact, you'll notice there are two of them. I'll explain that in a little bit here. Both of these have the Romeo Zeros, but uh, generally, if you bought the gun and added it, you will have the rear sight. If you bought the gun as an optic mounted package, uh, it does not come with the rear sight. But uh, before we go any further, awesome gun, guys. We've got 12 rounds in the mag here. Sig's original design, which we'll look at here in a minute, only held 10 and left your pinky hanging off. So we get a full hand here. We've gone from Sig's 3.1 inch barrel on the original 365 uh, to a 3.7 inch barrel. Forgive the shake there, guys. We're trying to refocus the camera. There we go. Uh, fantastic gun. So uh, long of the short is that we had one of these, right? And it was great, and I liked it, and my kids liked it, and everybody was all about it. And then they started arguing over who got it when I die. And I'm not really old uh, in, yet. I'm 38, so no plans to die, no terminal diagnosis. I got tired of hearing about that. So we have two now. Well, each of them will get one. I no longer hear about my demise. Um, so factory SIG will come with the iron sight uh, if you purchased it as just a standard firearm uh, that looks sort of like this. We'll just throw this assembly back together for two seconds. That's backwards. Bone. Anyway, so there you go. This would be the pre-installed plate that would go on the rear of that XL uh, did we not have the Romeo Zero already pre-mounted. So Romeo Zero gives us kind of a trench there just to find the dot, uh, but factory sights are in fact night sights and mounted in there really nicely and more rearward than they should be. Uh, but yeah, great solid piece of steel here, guys. They actually had considered going back to that in certain instances, but... Uh, before we get any further. So, uh, Romeo Zeros on these are a six MOA dot. You can buy the gun with or without them. You can buy them with a three MOA dot. Basically what this means is an MOA dot is how much it covers at 100 yards. So if I'm a six foot tall guy and you put a three MOA dot on me, it's gonna cover three inches on my chest at 100 yards. These are six MOA dot. They will cover six inches. Um, if we have the distance, we can have that diameter. It will cover three inches at 50, an inch and a half at 25. And basically what, let's see three quarters of an inch uh, at 12 and a half. So, you know, for bad guy accuracy, that's 36 feet, three quarters of an inch is the hole that I need. And you can find them faster. The threes are more precise. They are a little bit more precise than that, but I have bad eyes. So I went the bigger dots. I find they are easier to find. Uh, not regretted that decision in the couple years we've been carrying these now. So uh, has a little brother. We're gonna slide in here just for cause for comparison. And it is a custom version of the original 365, but major operational differences are why we're here. 365 itself is not not offered with the optic. You actually have to take it to a gunsmith and get your slide cut for that. Side benefit, if you're into that, is that we now can co-witness with iron sights if we so choose. Uh, I've actually found over the years that I prefer to not have a rear sight. I'd rather just have my optic in my front. It's faster for me. Your mileage may vary. Uh, 3.1 inch barrel in the standard 365 versus the 3.7 we're seeing here on the XLs. I will say much more pocketable. Uh, if we're going to a front pocket holster or, or your method of pocket holster, I have found that these are a little bit easier to do that with. Uh, these to me are just slightly on the larger end of what can be effectively concealed in a pocket, uh, but they'll have their own benefit as well. So, uh, looking at this, the original 365 again came with a curved trigger. I'm sorry, came with a flat trigger. We have upgraded that. It is standard on the XL, so another nice upgrade they give you there. Um, what else can we say as far as comparative differences? Oh, I'm sorry. So we spoke about how this was a great pocket candidate. Uh, this, on the other hand, will shine much more in terms of inner waistband or outer waistband. And what we find is that when we drive our thumb behind the gun on the draw, we're getting all four fingers coming around it. For me, that is the difference between having to regrip the gun as I'm coming up to the bad guy or not having to regrip the gun as I'm coming up to the bad guy. That, that, that pinky draw there. Not necessarily that I need my hand fully on the gun to shoot it. Uh, these can be shot just as well. But in that presentation, I find that I'm kind of three-toed slothing those short grips when I draw from the waistband, whereas the XL is right at that perfect size uh, that we have our full hand on the gun. And I mean, I'm, it's, it's literally, they couldn't have given me any more or any less. Um, one thing I do love about this, but they themselves are less pocketable as such. So not saying you can't pocket carry it. I'm just saying that I've tried it and it's right at the bigger end of, uh, you know, what is doable for me. Uh, but all in all, there's a third version here that will sort of incorporate both units here. We would have the bigger grip, the 12 round grip of the XLs with the shorter 3.1 inch barrel of the, uh, standard 365. And they call that the 365 X. Uh, so if you are not confused, 365, the one that incorporates that frame in this slide is called the 365X, and then the larger here are the 365XLs. Uh, all great options by Sig Sauer. You know, one is just probably more preferential to your method of carry, but I could not say better things about them. Uh, your local FFL should have these. They have probably outsold most of their competitors. Uh, they're going to compete pretty heavily with the Glock 43, the Springfield Hellcat, all great options. I've shot them. Um, 
but there's a lot of aftermarket support out for everybody, guys, and a lot of preferences and optics. Uh, but, you know, I would get on one of those teams, regardless of who you like. Uh, this is who we've standardized around, and we have not looked back. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed just a little information we threw here. Hopefully I wasn't too long-winded, and yeah, there'll be more. Stay tuned.